Well, I'm sure glad that Chase and Brian actually brought the seat over here. Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Brian, this thing is a beast. It is heavy duty underneath, but I like that. There's a lot of safety, a lot of engineering built into this seat. So I'll tell you what we did discover, the drive motor, there's not two going fore and aft, there's just one, and there's a drive shaft going over to the passenger side. So given the way that seat was twisting on you, I think over here is where we're gonna start. That tells me. Well, let's go ahead and pull this off. Let's do a little exploratory surgery in there and see what's going on. Sure. You get that bolt off right there. The motor goes across is what Brian was saying. So it's driving both sides with one motor. So really what was going on with me there is I was moving to the left or right, but this side wasn't moving. So I'm figuring we got something either going on with the track. Uh, we'll be all right without that. I think these okay. go all the way down okay. in there. So Good we'll deal. pick up the plate. So this is really important. If you're doing this, the tracks have to be phased, which means you don't want to have one track way further forward or backward than the other track, because if this is a gear issue and we replace it, then you're out of phase and you're not, not going to get the travel you want. And you could damage that gear if that's what you replaced. What do you right. got here, buddy? So I got the top pieces there. There's some washers right here. Let me see if I can pick them out. I don't. I don't look like that. I see some splines, but I don't see anything going on in there so far. No Throw worries, them I around. Got them. Yep. All right, good. Because, yeah, we're going to need all this. Uh oh, here comes the. Oh, boy. You see it? Yep. There Take you go. Take a look inside of there. Wow. Yeah, you can see that? Wow. Actually, I can probably just go in there and. Now, this all... is common. Again, oh, you know, nice. these are look usually, yep, plastic gears. Oh, uh, I'll get you another one. I'm flinging them around as bad as they're broken. And this gear would have broken. It probably got loaded up. Something got jammed under the track. Somebody tried to force the seat. Passenger side was working. John's right leg would go that. forward. Here they come. Left side wouldn't move. One more, Brian. I think I can get them all out of there. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. There's Man. your surgery. Yep. Wow. So there's the teeth now. Let's go to the Rock Auto toolbox here. And we've got extra seat <laughs> parts. <laughs> nice. and I think we've got the right worm gear. And here's the key right here. I mean, the whole apparatus, this thing, Brian was talking about eight, 900, could be 1,200, just depending on the car, if you have to buy this whole seat apparatus. But you know what? $4.50, got a new gear there. Look at that, and it's Pop just it a down. worm drive, yep. so it can go in at any index, it's okay. Yep, there it, goes it goes in one way. Look at that, so now we're catching the seat. There it goes down in there. And you can there. feel it, it's tight. Nice, beautiful. Right? So it's a matter of just putting the plate back on. We'll put the washer back on here and secure it. And I'm pretty confident, of course, we'll give it a test ride, but I'm pretty confident that's gonna solve the problem with that thing chipped for $4.50, we're good to go. That's at least a $796 ROI, so good work. Man. Beautiful, get the plate on, we'll get it torqued down. All that's left, we need to go put it back in the car. There we go. Well, that's the final of all four mounting bolts. We got the framework back, one with the vehicle, so we can test drive the seat motors. If there was any play there, we could damage those seat motors or actuators. So I'm gonna get in and test drive this thing. All right, so if you remember for John, it was moving right, but not left, and there was a twist to it. So I'm gonna go first thing, fore and aft. No sounds, feels very fluid, it's parallel. Both tracks are working right. We fixed that motor, that's good news. Now, to make sure I got all the electronic connectors appropriately reconnected, I'm gonna test everything else. Here's back, forward, back, smooth. Here's the hip hugger, that's great. Lower lumbar, that's great. This thing is in great shape. I'll tell you what, we, we spent a little bit of time on this project, but we saved a ton of money ended up being a $4.50 part from rockauto.com. So our time was absolutely worth it. I'm anxious to get this thing back on the road. John's gonna be happy because now he can drive it however he wants to. So stay with us on Tech Garage, brought to you by rockauto.com. <laughs>